a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Hey. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Every time I hear it, boy, check it, man. <laughs> check it, man. Hey, man, it's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. You know uh, the show, man, is going on, man. Boss Talk 101, getting better every time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And 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 then we have some of the most, man. I want to say the best guests. Exactly, the best. We okay. we got we got a guy here today. Most talented. The most talented. TJ is here with us today. He does art. Uh, he he paint. he he officially from the prime time clip. <laughs> and you did the shirt that you have on, right? Oh yeah, I did, hand painted the shirt that I had oh, on. Right? Hand painted it. Yeah, I go hard with the paint. Wow, you the one. You you, you yeah yeah so, you go hard with the paint. Yeah, most definitely. So how what what got you into it? So I, at the age of four for Christmas. Yeah uh, yeah we went yeah, all the way back yeah, yeah. at the age of four. At the age he of four. He started young. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I got a coloring book for Christmas. Um, I fascinated with this coloring. From there, I wanted to start doing my own coloring books. So I started drawing my own stuff out and coloring it in. So basically from the age of four, I just been into art and just drawing. Yeah. Well, the thing I can say is, did your parents uh, hold you to it? You know, like keep you going in it? So my mom was artistic and my grandmother was. but So this is third generation. Yeah, so when you say you, your mom was artistic, like, did she draw things and sold it or to that point or did she just did this? Nah, she just knew how to draw. All right, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Cause, you know, let's let do your intro song because we didn't come on right. Let go. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, he got an intro it's song. He got song an intro song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we on now. Yeah, man. Well, that's for his pain. Oh, that's for his pain yeah. when he getting ready to play. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Don't work. Yeah. Don't work. Yeah. Now, now we, yeah. Quality work. Yeah. Check it, man. Now, now we got TJ on the show, guys. Man. Yes, yes, yes. He has yes. his own intro song and everything. <laughs> yeah, you niggas didn't know I was gonna bring it back, nigga. Don't make me start again, cause he ain't he working in here. So what's up with you, man? What's good with you, man? That's how we doing it now. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this ball's not one on one. You said you started off with a coloring book, but when did you graduate into actual paint? So I graduated from Douglasville High School in 2004. Uh, one of the trends back then was uh, people painting cartoon characters on denim pants. I remember that. Yeah, so nobody would ever tell me how they would do it. So when I graduated from high school, went to Prairie View, uh, ran into an old classmate who graduated in 2003, the previous year. Uh, went back to his dorm room. Whole room was just full of just art, like hand painted stuff. So he showed me basically everything that I need to know to make my own pants. So I called my mama and told her the Western Union made me some money because that's how I was getting my food and everything. So instead of buying food with the money that she sent me, I went to Hobby Lobby, got all my paint supplies that wow. I needed, and just started my Start business. Your business. From, yeah. So you didn't tell her what you was doing at I all? No, I didn't tell her at all till I was actually making, making money. Making money, yeah. And what did wow. she say when you told her? Uh, she was proud, but, you know, at the, she hit the little smart stuff talking about, well, I guess you don't need me anymore to send you money. I'm like, no, nah, you know, <laughs> you don't have to send as much, though. But, but you, you going like, nah, to have to drop out. <laughs> nah, you should have been like, no, nah, mom, I'm going to start sending you money. Yeah. That's what you should have told nah, her. No, no, you're going to have to drop she, out because peer review, uh, it jump, it's jumping up Nah. Here. Oh, yeah. Did you finish? No, I didn't finish. I had 30 hours left. Wow, didn't we have somebody else? Who, who else? Why not? Fat Pimp. Yeah, fat Him Pimp. and I Fat Pimp. Seen interview, yeah. You seen it on yeah. there. Y'all show, yeah. You got to finish. Yeah. Well, see, I came back. When I came back to Dallas, I went uh enrolled in Mountain View. Okay. I finished. I got my associates in the art there. Okay. And then I went back and got another certification in doing robotics. Wow. So, yeah. So, let me ask you. I want to know something. this question. I want to know Is if you pay the damn student loans off. <laughs> I don't have any student loans. No. <laughs> that shot my credit up. No. <laughs> that paint money. Go but ahead, is baby. it worth going to school for art, or if you just have that natural talent, is it best for you to just do your thing? Well, see, I just went just to complete something. Made my okay. mama happy because she. I grew up educated, so that's usually what happened. Yeah. So me not finishing, I would hear that all day long. So I had to. My whole life, I would start something, not finish. So. Going back to the interview, I heard you say before, you know, 
going to school, finishing, you know, basically you finish what you start, right. especially with your kids. So, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to do when I came back. Like, quit moving all around everywhere, like, stay in one place, get something like that, then proceed to the next thing. So, wow. Well, the things that you learned in art school, did that um, help you with your craft? So, basically, when I got my associate in art, it didn't teach me anything about art. It was just just the name. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's the one thing about me. Even going to school uh, in high school with art, I take art just to take it. They couldn't teach me something I already didn't know, and that would make the teachers mad because I'm sitting here breezing through stuff and doing stuff my own way because I'm like, I already know how to do this. Like, why? Are it's you a God-given doing? talent. Yes, sir. Especially That's the when they want you. Especially when they want you to do it in a basic way when you your mind is already yeah, like I'm triggered to do stuff. You a are way like uh, Nick Cannon on Drumline. You you naturally. Could could play the you, you could do it naturally, so yeah. it couldn't be you like, know. Basically, he couldn't read the music. But music he can, yeah, he can, he can, that's right. right. Yeah. It's the same thing. Right. Like I can do it. I don't really need you to show me how, but right. I'll take the class because it'll get me a credit that I need. Exactly. <laughs> what I want. <laughs> exactly. What, what I want to know because you have a lot of people in um, the art craft, especially when I look on social media or when we go to the um, magic show or the different shows. Yeah, they can draw. We see people just you know, play their music and they just go off and start drawing and doing all of this other art yeah. on with a canvas or on the wall or on wherever. And it, in no time it's done. Right. What would make you different from any of those other artists? I know I do everything when it comes to art. I don't limit myself to just one thing. So like I said, when I graduated from high school, went to Prairie View, I started painting on clothes. So I was painting on apparel. I did that for so long. Then... I had to transition into doing something else because... Because that was out of style. But well, not so much out of style, but other people started doing it too. Right. So I, after I started painting on clothes, I was like, well, I got to start drawing portraits. So I started drawing pictures and stuff like that. So I started getting another audience for people who want to get portraits done. So after I did that, I was like, okay, well, now I see some other people doing like portraits, canvases and stuff like that. So I started painting on shoes and then I started doing murals. Like I did every year... My whole mind frame was to elevate and keep doing something different. Yeah. So I'm never going to be stuck doing one thing. So, no, I can't just – I don't just paint canvases. I don't just do murals, but I can paint shirts. I can paint your suits. I can paint bad pants. I can draw you out a logo. I can paint on the wall, like, interior, exterior paint. I do regular stuff. I can strike parking lots. Like, all that. How long does it take you, like, say, example, if we wanted to – Draw a mural on one of our walls right here. Um, say this size wall. It really just depends on what you want. Say the podcast right here. You just want all of this like painted on the wall. I give me a good old day. I probably say like twelve hours. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I tap in, get into my zone, and you just give me a theme or what you're trying to go with, what direction you want to go with, and. I go from there. Are you wow. fancy with your art? When I say fancy, okay. When I say fancy, let me tell you what I'm thinking about. I've seen the craziest things on at, back again social media. Yeah, people will just have not use a brush. They'll sometimes use their hand, pop it in the paint, and uh, throw it up, and just start <laughs> doing this. And yeah, so it comes out beautifully. I've seen people move, use their yeah. nose. Yeah, to paint, you they know? do all yeah. sorts of Very stuff. Artistic Are you with it. right? Yeah, because that's. In today's society, when everybody's doing the same thing, what's going to make you stand out different from anybody else? Right. I do everything. So I can use a paintbrush, or sometimes I use, uh, with fabric paint, they have the needle tip at the mm -hmm. point of the bottle. I can use that. Sometimes I use my fingers to blend. It really just depends. I can use any and everything, depending on what it is that I'm trying to paint on. So Yeah. I don't do you have, record everything you do? I have recently. Okay, because you know social media. Oh, you on TikTok? I'm not on TikTok yet. I can you have gotta, get, you on gotta TikTok. get on yeah. all of those platforms so people can see the process and then you can speed well, see, it up. I've been putting everything on Instagram, so you need to get on TikTok. Like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> you do oh, because, yeah, because, because, yeah. because that's where that's where you y'all hanging out at, right? Right, Shamari. TikTok. TikTok. Where would he do good to show his his his, his craft? Yeah, uh, that for see, me, and that's another thing part. Elevating and growing because you know, with time, you have to know how to adapt to that's change. right. So, you have to change building to a brand, building a brand. People don't understand building a brand, um, no matter what craft or career you're in. If you're trying to market it yourself, it takes time, right? It takes a lot of effort. 
it, it, it's a job within itself to sit down and find the time to say, okay, I'm going to post this on TikTok. I'm going to post this on YouTube. And then sometimes, yes, there are apps that will allow you to post, but some apps you have to pay for, especially if you're doing videos. If right. you're just posting pictures, they're free apps you can use to just put everything on there, schedule it out, and everything right. goes to everywhere. So you, you can save time. But when you're posting videos that can show people, this is how I do it and speed it up and make it look all right. creative, you have apps, but you have to pay for those apps. Right. Or you can say, okay, I'm going to put something different on TikTok, something different on, Instagram, but you have yeah. to sit down and spend right. that time again. And time is money to sit down and spend that time oh, to do that. See, that's another thing that I learned recently. Like I used to post pictures of the finished product all the time. Yeah, so people then, don't, yeah. Yeah, they don't, people don't really engage with just posting pictures. So I got to the point to where, okay, well, I'm starting doing time lapse videos of me, do, the whole process of me painting mm -hmm. the shirt or painting the portrait or whatever like that. And I've gotten a lot more engagement with the audience. So yeah. Exactly, because you're fast forwarding anyway. It's not like somebody sitting down right. watching it for 12 hours doing it. Exactly. You know, you're going to fast forward to the and slow it down at the good scenes that you say something or you do something creative <laughs> right. or whatever. And all the other parts, you just fast forward through uh, and yeah, make it so, creative. Yeah, I'm loving the, everything, though, right now. It's just, especially recently, because I just quit my job about, about three, four weeks ago. So, so you're going to be doing this full time? Well, I've been doing it full time now for about a month. So you quit it to do this full time? Yes. So you have so much faith in? What I do, Yes. Okay. And it took a long time for me to believe in myself. I can't imagine that because yeah. you've been doing this ever since you were younger. Four, but yeah. And how old are you now? I'm 35. I'll be 36 in July. You look another July person. What, what's, your, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your date of birth? July 16th. Oh, so you a cancer. Okay, you out of this. Why you make you, that ugly face? You, like you that? a cancer. Because we're all Leos, and then the gentleman who left earlier, he was also July the 27th. Uh, yeah. So it's, but at least you still July. You still July. So I will give you that. Yeah, you July. Yeah, you July. I don't like it. every time somebody says, "Are oh, you a Cancer?" Like, what does that mean? <laughs> My best friend is a Cancer, but we'll be getting into it because her birthday. I started Leo Pact. I'm the 23rd. Yeah. She ends the Cancer Pact, so she's the 22nd. She's the day before me. So I always tease her. I say, "You a Cancer?" <sighs> <laughs> We get Cancer people, they're, they're, no, they're good. Sensitive. They're good people because she's she's my best friend. So right. She, so if she wasn't people. your best friend. What would you say about? I I couldn't tell you because she. I think she's the only cancer that I really know. Mm. Thinking about it, and she cool people. Oh, well, I'm cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like where do you see um, this career taking you in the <clears> next <throat> two years? Let me let me let me give you a time limit. Because if you quit your job to do this full time, you should have goals set out, written right. down, time limit on this, so you know, okay, by next year, this is what I want to accomplish. My ultimate goal is to be more global with everything, so I'm not just so Texas based, because that's pretty much my whole following right now has been Texas ever since 2004, really. And how is it plan to do that? How, how do I plan to do mm -hmm. that? More just put myself out there a lot more, traveling. Uh, I have people who live in Colorado, so I'm going to go out to Colorado. I'm going to go out there, and I have a – well, I already have a plan when I go out there as far as, like, marketing and how I'm going to do my artwork and stuff out there. But like I say, each demographic is different. So it's like how can I bring what I have to their culture and make it work and fit for me out there. So I know I have a lot of figuring out to do, but I just know traveling, getting outside of Dallas, Texas, and getting outside of Texas in general, I'll be able to see a lot more, so I can adapt. Right, right. Have, because, but you say get out there, but social media is a is a, is such a crucial platform where you really don't have to even get out there to know certain things. You can go on social media I mean, yeah, and look up certain keywords and find but anything you, can you look need up, to know. But it's different from looking up something and actually. Go outside. I never been and to talk like, to somebody. Right, I never been to California before. So I mean, I know California palm trees, beaches, and all that stuff. Celebrities out there, but it's different once you actually go there and you actually interact with the people because the culture is a lot different once you get there opposed to just looking at it on TV. Right. So yeah, which is true because I've been there many times and it is very beautiful to go there and actually see the the culture. But then certain things you don't see because 
Yeah, yeah, like 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 the Dallas uh, uh, downtown. You don't see that. There. I'm not talking that you know that way. Do you know how <laughs> yeah, like yeah, when yeah. you watch TV and you, know you see saying? certain things about California? So whenever you go to California, you're looking for you're that. You're looking for yes. Like I'm looking for those low riders going like. No, nah, I don't she see watches that. She watched too many movies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> you don't, but you don't. But you don't. You don't see the 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 the, the Dallas. You know that's high rises. Of and course, all. you don't see that because you're not in Dallas. That's right. So you got to you got right, to you, got to be you, there you, to you 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 are in the midst of uh, greatness, and you don't realize it when you go up there. You like, dang, yeah. Man, yeah I, I'm, see, I'm, he's just like, talking about visiting. He's not talking about living. Yeah, well, I'm just letting him know for you. But is the visit like the Dallas skyline? Because he just said Hollywood and all that, and it, and it, yeah, yeah, it, it's cool, but it it, uh, it ain't Texas. Right, he right, but, but ain't nothing wrong with it. But no, it's just like there's money here in Dallas alone. Yeah. Boom! There it is. Yeah, get a big house. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I want to be beyond Texas. Like, where you want to go? Everywhere. I want to be everywhere. If, if you could go right anywhere now. in the world, where would you go? That's a good question. I honestly, I don't know. Perry. Nah, I don't know. that's what it, when they talk about. It. <laughs> I'm not fast. When they talk about pills. art, that's, that's yeah, usually what they think about. Know. Yes, I'm not the typical person. <laughs> I'm not the typical person. I'm like that nigga want to go to a Decatur. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. If that's where the money that's where is. Where right. go. Yeah. yeah, he want to thug it out. I he don't want to be out there, yeah, Perry. Go to Australia, Antarctica, like, man. Yeah, you know, how many this, clients do you have right now? Because oh, when you know. say you quit your job to do this full time, you should be able to. Better have some money. You should you be gotta, making yeah. enough where you can pay your bills. I know bills. I'm making enough for sure. I'm making enough. But as far as how many clients, that just differentiates. Like one week I can have 10 people, the next week I can have probably like five. But it, the jobs that I'm doing will carry me over. Because into, your jobs are pricey. Right. It just depends, they vary. A very. I don't have set okay. prices for anything because, like I said, everything I do is pretty much custom. Okay, so when somebody say how much you call, how much does do you normally charge? I'm gonna tell you what he say. I yeah. got I got to take a look at it. <laughs> See, once he say I got to take a look at it, then he feel to go over there and really give it to him. Like I got to take a look at yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like, well, what do you want? <laughs> that, that's right. I want to get a shirt. Man, how much to get a shirt? Well, I'm like, what do you want on the shirt? What so size? Go, how many colors? Well, all I, of that? See, I don't charge about the color. I just go okay. more so on. Um, the white I in-depth yeah. in the design. Some people estimate. might just want a name going across the shirt. I'm not going to charge you an arm and a leg just to put, like, no. If you want. How much you charge to put? I was top going across the shirt in just one color, like, mm-hmm. all right, that's going to be cheap. I mean, most people be like, well, don't let them know that it's going to be cheap. You know, charge what you're going to charge. But for me, I'm more reasonable, and I like for everybody to have my work. I don't want to be too high to where. You can't afford me, but I also got to the point to where I know I have to charge what I'm worth. So exactly, do you charge per hour, or do you charge? Because you know so, that that was the hard part for me. Because when I was start, cause when I started doing anything DIY and all of that, mm-hmm. I used to always just, just charge something, and people used to always said, "No, you need to calculate the products that you put in there, right. and how right. long did it take you to do it right. per hour?" And when I started to do, I'm like. Ain't nobody can afford me then. <laughs> Same thing my brother talked to me all the time about. He's like, you know, so basically if I charge $50 to do a shirt and it takes me, let's say, two hours to do that shirt, basically I just got paid $25 an hour. An right. hour. So I wouldn't make that work in that Walmart. Right. That's why I was there before. So I was making like 15 an hour. So when I charge somebody to do $1,000 for a project that might take 10 hours, that's what psh, my math is crazy right now. But mm-hmm. basically, you know, I make. But you money. should be the same all around. So even if somebody have a a, a big project for you to do and you charge them a thousand dollars for that, but this one over here you just did for fifty dollars and it's twenty five dollars an hour. Yeah. You need to say, okay, look at that painter and say it's going to take me about ten hours. Okay, twenty five times ten. This is how <laughs> yeah, much I'm going to charge yeah, you. Finish. Got you. They don't know how long it's going to take me to do it. No, but right. you know, the, depending exactly. on all of the type of work you've done, you right. can look at an art, whatever they show you, and be like, okay, I know X, Y, Z, I know my schedule, I may not have to, st- okay, I can do that in five hours. Yeah. And that's something I'm working on, too, my whole scheduling. That's it. My brother right here, he's important to me because, you know, a lot of people have yes men around them. He's not going to tell me what I want to hear just because, you know, that's push good. me along. So you can, yeah, you guys will let me. Let me, me. let me get up in there too. I'm, I'm not. 
Might well call me. You can have my number when you get through today. I ain't gonna tell you what you want to hear. Oh yeah, you want I some tough love? Is. Hell, I'm the one. I'll give you all the tough love you need. Cause if you if you selling them shirts too cheap, I'm gonna come hard at you about that. If you are selling them too high, I'm gonna say, hey man, that's too. If you is not selling them because you ain't moving fast enough, I'm your guy. Yeah. I'm but gonna see, be the one to we tell can you. Talk too, cause yeah, yeah. I want to get some stuff put in here. Yeah, well, a but, lot of people do, yeah. you know. But I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kind of tags you got in these shirts. I don't know who <laughs> man who yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You got to be legitimate right, businessman. Yeah, 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 we can talk about. Yeah, we don't have to. Uh, we'll buy the t-shirts and you put the stuff on them, and we taking half the profit or something. Right, we'll work something out. No, you can't just come up in here and talk about you gonna drop some shirts off. <laughs> Say no damn Man, CD look. shop. It ain't back in the nineties. <laughs> you think you gonna drop some damn shirts off in in unique fashion? I you gotta I think did. again, <laughs> TJ. Yeah, stop it, Man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but I will help you if you want. Oh yeah, teamwork make the dream. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you I, the and, right and definitely, the definitely, team. definitely. If, if and we maybe could critique it and do some things together for some artists. That's what I've been. I'm talking about music artists because there's a hundred thousand, hundred million rappers out here. Yes, That's where I would go with it because every nigga want to rap. Yeah. So I would more than likely try to make rappers shirts. <laughs> but these niggas want to rap. Are <laughs> uh, you right? I know I'm right. <laughs> I just oh, look for man. what a what a sweet spot at. And I think if you can make something that appeal to that people, it's, those guys, yeah. oh man, you into the money then. All right, so when I was at PV, of course, I was doing stuff for people on the campus. Uh you know, of course I used to rap back in the day. Uh Dero, one of the rappers from Dallas, uh, went to Prairie View as well. I made the search for the ice cream paint job video. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. So <laughs> I done you, stuff for you him, did that back Tony, then. Young Nation, everybody. There was some nice shirts too. Little Twist, everybody. Really? Yeah. What do you think that you done? Uh, did, did you still deal with some of those same customers? Like, I just had a guy come in here, been coming here for 15 years. Right. Can you say that? I have a couple of people who I've been dealing with since I start first started painting. Uh, that's good. That's a good run. Imagine how many artwork they probably have from you in their house. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told everybody, hold on to it because it's going to be worth a lot of more money. It's already worth a lot of money. Yes, sir. If you did it. Yo. You put your heart, blood, sweat, and tears into it. I don't give a... Lord, I like to cuss. Do you yeah. have any artists out <laughs> there that inspires you that you look at their work and be like, "I'm gonna beat them at this craft one day. See, I'm gonna be better than them." Well, see, I don't look at it as a competition. I just use it as motivation. Uh, my favorite artist right now, he's in Fort Worth, Trey Wilder. Um, Trey, Wilder. what makes him your favorite? What does he do that's different? This is approach to every project. It's like I'm always ready to see what he's gonna do next. Like. He's always coming up with some random different stuff. How do you see it? You said, how do I see it? Oh, Instagram. Okay. And, and so you never met him person? I never met Trey in person. But we talked plenty of times about linking okay. up or whatever like that and try to work, do a collaboration on the piece. But, you know, he's sending people when he can't do something. He'll be like, well, TJ, I have a customer over here who wants to get this, this done. Uh, I'm going to send them your way. You know, let me know how it work out, whatever like that. So my whole thing is networking good. and building the communication. Yeah. Like a community because the fact that he has faith in you to know that you will deliver and satisfy that customer. Yo. You know what I mean? Because we were talking about something like that the other day is that be careful of who you recommend because it's your name behind it. Right. As much as you can tell a person, well, you can try them. I don't know this. And I don't. You are the one recommending them. So your name is sort of behind them no matter what. Even if you say... I don't know. <laughs> then just don't recommend them. But for the main fact that he recommended you, that yeah. means he's putting his name behind you. He's he's trusting in you that you will be able to satisfy them. But yeah. if you don't deliver, that nigga is not going to take the blame for you. <laughs> I can promise you that. I know. I definitely no, no, hear no, it, though. He's like, bro, come on. Like, <laughs> how you going to do me like that? And I sent them to you. But yeah. he sent me like, quite a few people. And, and you and you deliver every time. Yes, and sir. do those people come back to you? Yeah. Okay. And then I send people his way as well. So, you know, if I'm not able to do something, I'll go to another artist who I feel like can accommodate what the customer wants. And I have one girl right now who I have working with me as well, um, another upcoming artist named Marissa. So I'm showing her how I do everything. So, you know, 
if I can't do something, she's going to be the person who I recommend. So I'm like, well, if I can't do this job, Marissa, here, go over there and knock that out. Do what you do, because, yeah. I, I I never could connect with the pain side. I see them and say, that look good, but it's not my thing. Yeah, I mean, the whole you, you, you got to love you it. You have to have a creative side. And that's the thing with painting. Okay, what kind of painting do you, because I've seen, again, in movies, because I don't go to those art galleries. Right. Paintings on wall where people have to stare at and be like, what do you get? From, you know, that abstract type of art yeah. where he's like, what do you get from that? And one person said they get this and the, the artist see, felt this way and the artist. Yeah, see, I'm not that type of artist. I'm the, <laughs> I don't do too much thinking when I look at stuff. It's either it catches my attention or it doesn't. But uh, I know they have different mediums that people use from watercolors to acrylics. From our canvases, I use uh, the paint from Home Depot. Like, I get a whole bunch of little simple uh, containers in different colors, and that's how I paint my canvases because I like the way the colors look. It's more vibrant. You don't have to. And that's not even acrylic. That's it's just, not. It's wall paint. This is wall paint. I didn't yeah. know you can use wall paint you, you, on really, canvas. Really, you can use anything. You can use ketchup, mustard, <laughs> whatever you want. I've heard that before. Really food have, art. I've heard be about that. There. Food yeah. art. You be out there buying ketchup, mustard, paint on <laughs> all the time. Really? Yeah, I need it for wow. my sandwiches and my hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Not for your you art. Like put half of it on the wall and half of it on your burger. Yeah, you know. Wow. Just flick it just a little bit on there. Wow. It's just paint. It's just paint. That's what yeah. it say. So well, did you. you talk about your mom a lot. Did Did you have your father in your life? Yeah, he was there in and out, but that yeah. nigga skipped out on you. Yeah, he did early in my life, but yeah, he I came. Mean, ar- but he came around. That that's what I'm saying. You yeah. don't blame it on him. Because, because you know, came around. well, uh, and another thing, I can speak on that subject a little bit. Uh, he only mimicking what he knows. You can only do what you know. Yeah, see so, what and that's the problem with us. We get mad at our parents, right? A lot of times, or our parents' parents, yeah. but they're only doing what they was taught from their parents. So we have to have a a, a, a understanding. Least, a, a, yeah, we have to forgive first of all, yeah, and we got to we got to stop that curse so we can move on, man. Because our people went through a lot. I got to always say that on here. Yo. So so don't let that be the reason. And I'm not saying you because I no, no, no. But it, it, but that's the, the I mean my I had my dad was the same way. Like uh he when they broke up, my mom and my dad broke up How when I was nine, when that nine years old. Nah. But at the end of the day, I I didn't like some of the stuff he done, but as I looked at my grandfather and as I grew older and when I start to understand God a little more, I start to look at the fact of what all his dad, dad went through, and his dad mm-hmm. went through. Yeah, see, my old man's dad, he was like a little Rolling Stone. See what I'm saying? Yeah, and you so, start to see this stuff. Yeah. But see, my old man, he he was a hustler, a grinder. He do whatever he got to do to make money. My mom, she's more... Homebody. Homebody, so she did stuff. Yeah, structured. She did stuff by the book. So she, school, he was brought up, you know, hustle, get it, how you got to get it. So put them two together, you get me. That's right. So... I was trying to do the school. I was like, ah, trying gonna, to please parents. Trying to please my parents. But then inside of me, it's always been a grinder. Like, I got to go get it. So, you know, my old man came down like a month or so ago. And he had to talk with Came me. down from where? Uh, Colorado. Okay. He came down to Colorado. He be smoking that weed? No. Nah, nah, he, <laughs> he called them funny sticks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he not into our desk. But uh, we was at the Gaylord Hotel. I took my kids out there so he could see them. Uh, he just had a man to man talk with me, told me, you know, this right before I quit Walmart. He's like, you know, you can be making a whole lot more money doing what you love to do. And he's like, you know, I'm up here doing this, 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 and this. He's like, don't be scared. Like, you just got to get out there and just do it. He's like, at least try. Because if it don't work out, you can always go back and do what you want to do. But he's like, that shouldn't even be in the back of your mind. So, for somebody who wasn't there for me growing up, like, he's made up. You can't make up for lost time, but I feel like the information that he gave me at that time that it we came had, when it mattered. Yeah, when it mattered. So was that your deciding factor to quit your job? It was one of them. Like I really wanted more for my kids, one more for myself. Um, I've always known what I'm capable of doing, but like I say, it's the people around me who see it and the known. Like my brother here, Cass. Like I've been knowing him since 2004, and. It's like, he's not going to tell me what I want to hear. And he's my <laughs> constructive criticism. He's going to give it to me. And sometimes, you know, people get real defensive and sensitive when people tell them what they don't want to hear. And this is like, you know, that's not going to make you stronger. 
because some people out there, like, when you get online and start talking about you and everything like that, a lot of people take that stuff to heart. And, mm-hmm. you know, a lot Do of your kids up, live with you? No, they don't. Okay. So that means you're not with the, the mom? No. Well, he's basically doing the same thing his dad did, the in and out thing. Nah, no in and out. you like that? No. I'm, I'm very active but, with but my kids. But you understand but, where I'm coming from. Yeah, so... so uh, I'll, I got to ask you, man, top three artists of all time, man, dead or alive. Do you love music? Well, you should. You was friends with DeRoe. Yeah, I love music. Okay. Well, give me something. I like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, right. you listen to uh, uh, Erica so, Badu. So, Shout out to Erica Badu in Dallas, yeah. Texas, man. Sad, Say, man. man, we love you, man, over at Boss Talk. You got to come check out the show. Oh, if yeah. you ain't, you still got to tap in. Come on through. Hey, man. man, it's up to you. Hey, you might well get on early. Oh yeah, my favorite artist for me, uh, Nip. I like whoa, 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 Nip. Nip C Hustle. Yeah, let's say his whole okay. name. Don't what do that, that, bro. Nah, Nip, like y'all no the first name, big, baby. Man, baby. man look, Nip. I, what's that? Nip. Well, technically, I met Nip before. You met him? Okay, yeah. I did. Do where you meet him at? At the Rose Video Show. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Now yeah. it's coming together. What y'all doing over there? Y'all smoking that stuff, boy? Nah, I don't smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I stay away from the funny sticks. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Funny sticks. So, yeah, so, yeah, so, so how was how was it meeting him? Did you talk to him and everything? Uh, not like other people have, but I had a little conversation, but it wasn't long. That's fine. But yeah, at least you. I did love that. his music though. Yeah. yeah. So you saying your number one is Nipsey? Nipsey. For sure. I just okay. like the message that he. Was putting That's, out there. Is that the first number one for Nipsey? Mm-hmm. I believe so. What's number two? And then uh, Ludacris, he was another one of my favorite. Luda? Luda. That nigga be hollering. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first. Yeah, little old bitty nigga with a big old voice. Isn't that the first Luda we've had on here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, and who? Oh, the, yeah, this last one probably gonna be another first. Who is it? The other one with Big Tuck. I love Big Tuck. Big mm. Tuck? Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. This is my personal, this is my, my favorite, like, for me growing up and what I listen to, like, when I, whether it be this art or just in general, this, Hold this on, I, th- I thought that I'm you would have been, that they best. hold on, I thought you would have been so happy because Big Tuck is from the I'm, South. I'm, I'm happy because at least he got one in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little, but the what tripped out part is that he, he, him and DeRoe friends and he didn't even say DeRoe. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, yeah, let's get it in. Yeah, yeah, DeRoe. Shout out to DeRoe for coming yeah, over here blessing DeRoe. my platform. Yeah. This nigga ain't say your name, but I'm saying it. DeRoe, man, I love that uh, candy paint job, ice cream paint job, yeah, being on BET. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, now, yeah. the thing I'm going to say here, uh, Lisa, <laughs> hey, watch this, watch this. The thing I'm going to say, at least I brought the nigga up. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you was going to pass right by him. Now, so do y'all still no, talk? I acknowledged the role earlier. No, I'm talking about far as on the top three. Do y'all, you know, do you think? No, he Because this dude his got head. a damn sound that's, uh, uh, yeah. and I talked to Watts about this earlier. His sound to me seemed like he was commercial already when he came, when I heard the, the way his voice sound. Yeah. More than anybody else in Dallas that I can even think of. Yeah, bro, talented for real. So I know that for a fact. In my heart, he, I know why he platinum. I know why he went platinum. Because he sound like he should be. Yeah, a lot of people just hating on him. Who hate on him? I mean, just people in general. <laughs> Wait, a minute, saying, like, Wait a minute. Ain't nah. nobody said that. Nah, I'm just saying. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you nah, already know people online, like, we already talked about it. Cause I know. They hate on me. They hate it on Jesus Christ. That's yeah, just going to They hate yeah. on you. Ain't nobody going to let you make it. Right. You're going to have to grind through it. And you better have some tough skin or you don't belong here. Right. Real talk, because nah, at the end of the day, you keep mentioning the fact that your brother always giving you constructive criticism. And at the end of the day, you got to have somebody that that you got to have tough skin, grand, yeah. but you got to have tough skin through all of it. Right. Because some of these folks out here going to tell you stuff that's going to be lies about you. Then you have to deflect the lies, right? right. It's so you much like different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah, real and what's, really what's not, you yeah. know. The one thing I can say uh, about y'all, man, I love all y'all and the fact that y'all supporting Boss Talk. When I called the row, the row pulled up yeah. like it wasn't nothing. Yeah. And at the end of the day, when I called Watts after I found the nigga, he pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. He he, he drank it hot. (laughs) (laughs) No, room temperature. (laughs) So, and and I just, I love y'all chemistry, man. And I I, I love the history of the music in Dallas, Texas, man. Uh, They're like, you you got, yeah, I know it. I know it. I know it goes deep. Y'all, you you was a part of the boogie movement. You want them dancing? 
Nah, I don't do out the dancing. Oh, you didn't I dance? I had my stanky leg, mama, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, Did you, as far as the walk to walk, walk that walk, when you first heard it, because that was one of the first ones that yeah. he did, did you think it was hot? Yeah, Let's I be mean, real, don't well, do nah, nah, dog. Nah, nah. Like, so, when I partner the DJ Merc, that's part of Doors what? Upcoming with Cash, um, we're what? out in a so, prime time click. Prime time click. Yeah, Genius yeah. Let's say it. Like, prime time click. It's Genius Entertainment. Yeah. Got it tatted on my back. Let me see it. it, it, it I don't believe it. <laughs> Nigga say he from the prime time click. Let me see it. Keep the camera. No, get that guy. Get that camera. Get that camera rolling. Scoot over a little bit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. You done damn me scarred yourself up. <laughs> the boy got oh, prime yeah. time click on his back. And genius entertainment. Like and genius. So you really you you live and die by that. Nigga don't put no tattoo on him unless he really really mean it. Family, I'm look big on loyalty. Like, yeah. So. So you really believed in that prime time click. I so all of y'all, how many of y'all was in this in this prime time click? How many members was it? Man. But rap wise, I believe it was like seen six to eight. Like, I feel like we were like the cash money of our era. Like, okay. We, everybody brought something you to should. the table. But and what was your role in this clip? Well, I, <coughs> I rapped, but for me. Oh, you rap? You got bars? Let me get a beat. Hold up. I know. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the rock gonna be like that's why. That's why. Yeah, right. like, yeah, 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 yeah. the hell out of me. That did. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I felt like for me, I'm more um, marketing, branding, and this is my art. Like that's yeah, what I brought. That's your part. Well, you did the damn shirts on the video. Well, yeah. So you, that, that, time, that means something to me. I didn't know to, that. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. At that time, my mind was on man. I want to be a rapper. I want to be a rapper. I want to do. And I'm still gonna paint these shirts. And I'm still gonna paint. And it was like talking about. my best friend. His dad told me like your kind is gonna be art. Like he's like you can rap like music. You good at? But he's like that nigga like, I make I, it. And then you wasn't that good though. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He didn't want to see. He gonna say you bad. He ain't like my boy. Was I'm he good? Cold. Yeah, I can rap. He wasn't that good in rap. I know it. I can rap. Yeah. <laughs> so why do you mean you, that's your that's the one tell what the you truth? Just say earlier, you said that's the one tell the truth. Right there. That, that nigga tell the truth. That nigga. That, what's your yeah. name? Cash. Cash yeah. tell the truth. Cash is. Yeah. He say you couldn't rap, man. Yeah. I couldn't at the beginning. No, 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 no. Hell no. It's okay not it. to be a good no, rapper. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm cold with it. You really think? Okay, that? well, go ahead and give us something now. Yeah, give, let's see. I ain't that cold. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Drop us a sixteen. Hey, mm. you. I mean, give us something. You know, but but like like Walla P did. I'll just uh, just come with it. Let's see. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah. She beating on the table yeah, for you. We gonna keep on beating. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get on instrumental. So, so, so you really, you, you really, okay, what happened? What made so you? So basically, when I look at everything, it's like, well, what's bringing money in for me? It's okay. Like artwork. I'm making more money doing art than I was making CDs, mixtapes, and all that stuff. So I had to come to realization that, you know, Music is just something I love to do mm -hmm. when I had free time or whatever like that. But I need to direct my focus more on to the creative side as far as like artwork and everything like that because I've been doing that since four. That's what I had the love passion for before I got into doing music. So, so but but you said how many people was in the prime time click? It was probably like between six to eight. It was enough. Like it was a lot of people who just did different things too as well. Yeah. So we had. The artists as well is we had like a skateboard team. Uh, of course, we had people who DJ had the promotion. Like it was deep. Like, okay, so when Walk That Walk came out again, yeah, was you uh, what, what, was you like this? The one this is gonna be one? Yeah, I was excited. Like you was excited. Yeah, because the reaction and that he we that, got y'all y'all was getting because it was a, all y'all getting the reaction. Right. And and did you ever talk to? Say Watts or DeRoe and say, "Hey man, uh, we, we we doing it big right now." No, but it's one of the things where you know we all interacted with each other, but we just already it's one of the things you already knew. Like DeRoe's work ethic, nobody can ever say like it's unmatched. Like his grind, like he be oh, up the middle of the night. We doing in, good in the studio. Like he be out there bobbing his head. Like be like, damn, bro, don't get no sleep. He been there mixing, mastering his own stuff. Like, oh, yeah. 
So he basically was doing. He was yeah. a one man everybody show. Y'all wasn't doing nothing. Nah, everybody. <laughs> nah, everybody oh, did oh. something. Everybody oh, contributed. Oh, nah. I just got that. I just got shot at the road one man show. <laughs> I know, shoot, but you know, but I know I get, I get it, I get it. Starting out, you do, you do kind of, you, you, you want to, you, you be just like in a zone, you know what I mean? So yeah. I get it. And y'all was in college because I know you, I can look at you and tell you running out of them little girls' dorms and all kind of stuff. You ain't never been out of Dallas. You, you go down <laughs> now and you start running in and out of these girl parties. They party at Prairie. Don't lie. You wasn't all about the music like you acting right you here. You need SMS to your title. What? what <laughs> <laughs> Say, but no, Psychic, no, 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 <laughs> no. I just know it's, no, a, no, it's a party town, right? Like, like well, that, you like young every, and like you get ready to go to college. I feel like every college every is a party college town. Is, yeah, yeah, this is. Like but not like, like but not like PV, not like PV no, have a, have a no. name to it. That's so you really, yeah, y'all, is. y'all turned that thing out, bro. Yeah, we had fun. Like that's what you do when you go to college, though. Bro, it was I a lot of it was a lot of music down there, bro. Oh, yeah, it was. Y'all was down there really kicking it. Dallas came through that yeah. real hard and live, so yeah. much so that it permeated into Dallas, Texas, from down there. Yeah, yeah y'all did that. Shout out to them boys. Yeah, them boys down there, Prairie View, they some hell of a niggas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, spell it a prime time clear. That would y'all <laughs> no, I don't like how you just laugh when you said that <laughs> No, because I know y'all really well, need no. Y'all hit it hard, yeah. bro. <laughs> y'all hit it harder than most. Oh, there ain't yeah. nobody did it like y'all. <laughs> well you put it. <laughs> nobody did it like oh, y'all. Man. Like y'all made history. Right or wrong. Most definitely. <laughs> Shoot. I'm going to say it, yeah. I'm just the one to bring it yeah. out in the interview, but I yeah, know what's going now, on. I think back, and ain't nobody else did that since yeah. then, really like that. There's a lot of stuff. That During that time, down. who was down there? The Party Boys, who else? Yeah, Party Boys, Bone. Yeah, Bone, Bone. The Bone out of Atlanta, Texas. Yeah, he yeah. straight out the country. Yeah. Why you nigga with... That y'all with who Kirk, else? Kirk Cobain's... Uh, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, ain't nobody else did that like that. Come out of Prairie View like they did and did that music mm-hmm. like that. No, yeah, you niggas yeah. is special. Yeah, think about it. We said the same thing when Dora was in here. Did I? Mm-hmm. No, yeah, we talked about it a little bit, but not not like not we like talking that. about. Hell no, we going into it. Me and my boy here, we going. Old <laughs> TJ got something for him, baby. He got it tatted on his back. Hell, this nigga crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Does I'm everybody saying. does everybody in the clique have it tatted on their nah, back? I think I'm the only one. That's one, what I just told well, you. It's one other person. It's not one other person. Ace got one. Yeah, on his arm. On his hand. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll about to his little. Yeah, you got a big <laughs> ass tattoo. Yeah, I got the big ass tattoo on my back. <laughs> yeah, you you were serious it. about it. You, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You see it from West Texas. That's yeah. right, yeah. But ain't nothing wrong with it. You, and you're an artist, too, so you like you, you like but, creativeness. Well, yeah. And for me, like I say, everything that's tatted on me has a meaning anyway. So yeah. me getting it tatted on my back along with Ingenious is like, that's, it I means love, more I, to me than just a business. Like, with family, how we move, like, just that whole era coming up, traveling, going to different places, like. Come on.